one owner car guy and what I've got here for you today is a beautiful 1986 Mercedes Benz 560 SEL. Now this is a one owner car. Whoever had this car paid the big money. Um, and they kept it nice, kept it clean and took care of it and you can tell it just shows. Um, I love a one and two owner clean classic car like this. Um, you just can't beat them. Somebody that bought it new and paid the big bucks is going to maintain it and take care of it a heck of a lot better than somebody that bought it six, seven owners down the line for some little amount in comparison and just doesn't ever maintenance it. You buy it new, you maintenance this thing. So I'm going to do like a once around like I always do here and then I'll go up close and do a twice around. We'll show you any minor flaws, dings, damage, or any kind of little minor things wrong with it. This is a very clean car. I try to start out with as clean as I can to begin with. And just lots of cool stuff. Check out my website. It's www.oneownercarguy.com and you can see a lot of the stuff I have for sale on there. Um, I've got about 260 cars. There's probably only 40 or 50 for sale on that site at any given time. On my channel here, you can see my other lots of video reviews and such on here. I upload some behind the scenes stuff and all kinds of different stuff. Call me though, Nathan, 406-544-6919, reach me anytime, fine up, I won't answer. Import, export, we'll send this right to your port. You name it, any country in the world. Um, and these are great for the Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, being 86 and younger, I have a lot of them. Or should I say 86 and older? Okay www.oneownercarguy.com I'm going to go up close now and show you any dings, dents, damage, and stuff like that. Which there ain't much to talk about. It is a clean car. Um, yeah, no dings or such or anything. The worst thing I can say about this side is your pinstriping there. It got thin right around here. And across the door is almost non-existent up until here. And a little better spot up there. One rub through spot where he must have buffed it and got that there. Um, the little pieces of rubber in between there should be cleaned up and they look great. Paint just flings back at you. Small door ding there. Two of them. Maybe a small one there. And that's about, oh, this little wear spot right there. Hard to see, but it is there. Um, I'm going to show you underneath. I got the neighbor coming down the hill here. And I'll crawl under here, show you how beautiful this is underneath. I think she should be good. Yeah, there you go. Great shape. Lenses are great. I'm going to show you this underneath over here before I go back to going around. I like to stay out of people's way and such there. They got to go in and out. I'm always doing all these videos up here. Super clean. There is a, a small leak somewhere on the tranny. I'm not sure. Just tiny. Um, I'm sure you'll find a wet, like I say, you'll find a wet gasket or something somewhere. But it's just not something that even really is a need to fix like right now thing. It's a good driver. Runs and drives, shifts great. Um, just, oh, I love that two-tone on them too. Wheel wells, they are the factory. How oh, that's the same body color and such. Look at that, man. I love a one owner car, clean of rust and all that. Look at this. You just don't find them like this. That's all there is to it. I showed you under the front, right? I think I did. Did I? No, I didn't. I didn't come around this far. Okay, let my low level light adjust it. God, this pavement's hot too. Burned your arm. Look at that. Just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful!
Okay. Cool spots like that. And if you look from real close, you can see just these little teeny chips. Just some little chips. I mean, it shines back at you, and you'd never see it from five feet away, really, ten feet away. But there's a couple of tiny chips in it. And the windshield, too. This piece here is cracked. As you can see, there's two little cracks in it. I'll get it close there. There we go. Stick this one pretty close there. There we go. And, man, there ain't much else to talk about. I'm going to go down this side and show it to you. Um, the pinstripe is a lot better on this side. All that light checking you get in these, but they're in great shape. Small hole there. And how that gray gets a little bit faded on them grills. This one ain't got the checking hardly going on at all. I'm waiting for a one owner Chevy pickup stretch cab coming up here. A little wear mark right there. Chrome and everything around the window sets is great. A little bit of fading to it. Not fading, just not, not as shiny like they get at some points. And I don't take a lot of time shining these things up. I'm moving them and selling them and I leave a couple things for somebody to do. Um, I Some dealers would repaint. Repaint? This paint's got years left. I guess if you want it to be the nicest looking one on the block, that's a chip. A chip. A ding. And that's a ding. That's what I'm show you. I guess if you wanted it to be the nicest one on the block, you could repaint or something. But I'm not going to touch this hood over a couple of chips you can hardly see. And the rest of the car is just beautiful, so... It, <laughs> there's no way. What was that? Something to that effect. Beautiful! 406-544-6919. That guys don't get windows very well, I'll tell you that. Ooh, a little dingy chippy. Dingy chippy right there. Now these are faded out a little bit. Look at the spider webbing there. We slightly brushed on them. But these are a little bit more faded than the bottom pieces there. And very easy to touch up with the... You can get it at AutoZone now where they match this color. Sand that thing down, mineral spirit it, and psh, 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 tape it off and spray it. It'll look beautiful. But like I say, I don't do a lot of that kind of stuff. I want it to be original and unhidden. The worst I'll be is do is sometimes I'll tighten up a underneath and it's got a little gross thing on the frame but not rust through the light. Psh, 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 a little whoops, psh, 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 again. Yeah. This one, I gotta show you again. Look at this. I mean, if it wasn't excuse me, grab it under here. If it's, I just wouldn't believe it unless I was looking at it. I mean, there's nothing to touch up, and you know, I like if that was, see that little bit right there, just where the chip is off of it, of that, I would, psh, psh, psh. yeah, that's psh, psh, again, and put some rust proofing um, stuff on. Now, all cars do that. My mom's, my dad's a brand new 07 E63 MG has it all over it. Underneath. Well, beautiful! 1986 560 SEL. Gotta love the W126 style. Great, classic, timeless style. All the options you could ever want. I mean, there really just ain't nothing you ever needed over what's on these cars. So, I'm gonna take her down the road, do a test drive. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to tell you. I can't think of nothing. One eight three nine two nine on it. Now I have nine of these right now. Nine. And um, anywhere from forty five thousand miles um, to uh, I don't know. Some with a heck of a lot more. You're up to 40 like it's just right now. 
seatbelt warning? I think it actually is. I'm gonna set this down real quick. I gotta check. Yeah, it's got an SRS tag on it type thing. Now they set you down on your test drive, I'm sorry. But I just couldn't believe there was a seatbelt buzzer on an automobile this old. But sure enough, there is. And I noticed that on the way over, I heard it doing that. And I was wondering what it was, the gas was really low. And then I thought, huh, I wonder if it's a seatbelt. Put it on, never heard it again. There's three shifts for you, like right now. Um, rear shocks are a bit spongy, I guess you'd say. Um, there's a slight rattle from the door panel over on the passenger side. Now I went ahead and went to the top here for the heck of it. Figured we got this camera wrapped around my hand. We got her up to 40. Heck, let's just do another little bit. Now these things really do turn on a dime. I mean, this is a full-size big body car just turning around in a little cul-de-sac like that. Kind of maybe at some point might replace the plugs and wires or something. You get at an idle. Right above an idle. Any of the wire type stuff goes away. It's just hop in it and drive it's all you need to do. I mean there you go man there's zero to 40 like it ain't no thing and it ain't no thing now I had a guy ask me the other day he says Nathan I watch all your videos you've got lots of cars that go up to 40 or whatever with like it ain't no thing do you have any that go up to 40 like it is a thing well yes as a matter of fact I do as a matter of fact there's a few I've got that it's a quite a big thing to try and get them to go over 40 um, so I ain't going nowhere and those aren't the usual ones I have but I got a couple that are my project type cars that I just couldn't pass up. They're like that. Okay. Well, we are up here at the place. Now this one, it retracts fine. And sometimes it'll get a little sticky though. How about this here? Let's see. Hey Seacole, sunroof, heats. Work. Heated seats work. Radio works. Power steering good. Brake steering good. Brakes good. Brakes. Uh, cooling good. Washer fluid good. Oil good. Windows work. Passenger side switch is sticking. Visor lights don't work. Passenger rear tire has some dry rot on it. Jack tools. Fire extinguisher there. No spare. Passenger rear door chips in the paint. Hood minor chips. Dash mat missing. Velcro on dash. I took the Velcro off. Look at that dash. Look at that dash. Books for car and glove box and ten eye works. Okay. Looks like it's got a little bit of a tent on these also. This switch right there doesn't want to push down. It'll go up. Yeah, there is tent on them. So there's your. Now we'll do this. That's down. That's up. That's up, that's down, that's forward, that's back, that's forward, that's back. Oh, that ain't been up in years, has it? What's that? Oh yeah, it does work, don't it? it seems like it's stuck at the top there just a tad. Hang on a sec. There's a slight little bend in it. Ever so slight. Let's see if it goes down. Door panels are in great shape. Um, I didn't show you this seat, how the it works. Seats are in great shape, but there's a tear in that front piece there. I'm going to show you that. I could have this piece replaced. This piece has got a little scratch in it. It's not torn. But you got them two, and then this one's chewed a little on the from your lumbar running, rubbing to get in and out. The backs are in great shape. 
I could get this piece replaced, this piece replaced, and this piece replaced. I'd do all three here. I could get these four pieces replaced for about 150 bucks or so. Um, and it look pretty much like new. No wear on the pedals. Look at that. Um, Carpets are in great shape. I'm sure if you shampooed them, you could get even better shape. Look at that. Just beautiful. I love these one owner cars. These people usually take care of them. SRS airbags on this thing, too. Look at the dash. It's just almost in perfect shape. There's no big cracks or anything. You got a tiny this little crack right there. You got a tiny something right there. And I'll bet you there's one starting. It always starts by the speaker there a little bit. They don't usually spread that far though. Headliner's in great shape. Um, let's do the... The heated seats are good. So that's all good and you got... Show you it goes both ways there. Knew a girl like that. So, this here is, you know, that's easy fix there. It really, really is. And if you did the seat, it would be easy to do at the same time. A little split there. And they do not work. Likely a fuse. But we didn't even wipe, we didn't even wipe that down. Same split that they all get right there. I'll show you in the trunk and all now. We we'll take these here books with us, I believe. Got extra fuses. And we'll take this in the back and look at it. I love these big long doors on these things. 560 is about as nice as it can get here. Carpets are in great shape. Backs of the seats are in great shape. I'm gonna turn the key on. Pull this out. You got heated in the back and reclining back. Yeah, baby. Nets are a little stretched out here. That could be... Oh, well, that'd be easy to tighten up. You got that, just tie a knot in it. And it's tight again. Wow, I just learned something. Should have learned that a long time ago. Like I say, I don't do much to them to... Especially to try and hide or anything, I just... Take pictures. Take pictures, yes sir. Doors are tight. You'll end up slamming them too hard because they're just not needing to be slammed. Little ding right there. And the clear that to clear the pinstripe gets a little. Let's slip under here first. Oh look at that. Um, I do have, there's a jack, I do have a spare that I could include for a little extra. Wow. I don't know that I've ever seen this book. Wow. Wow, they go through all the series. Oh wow, every single car too. I think so. That's so cool. Wow, okay. So you know, um, this here book doesn't come with this car. I am a total lover of Mercedes and I'm going to have to do a review on that. 
and show some subscribers and at the same time keep it. But you'll get the driver's manual here. Look at that man. Wow, this guy had multiple things because there's two of these here. He had multiple benzes. Here's the registration. Whoever had this took care of it. This is so cool. The next service due is checked out at Mercedes up till 90 in 01. Wow. It's a long time. Build sheet type thing? Dealer car. Huh. Radio stuff. Holy smokes. Oh, and the metal VIN tag. You don't get them with that very much. Okay. Let's back this up here. These don't go with it. They were Nate's. And everything else is yours including the metal VIN plate that's cool data tag I don't know what you want to call it there is a proper word so a trunk full of stuff coming with it um, very clean on all the all that's just beautiful most of your tool kits here missing a piece or two a screwdriver I think is one of them you're missing Okay, I'm going to leave that to where I can take photos of it. Opens, closes nicely and such. Um, turn this off and show you the front from the back. Look at that back seat. I don't even know if he ever had anybody sitting back here. Um, this here, the clip seems to be a little off. Actually, yeah, it's probably a little loose on the clip. A couple holes right there. Looks like somebody sat there and poked it. Wow, cigarette lighters and ashtrays in the back seat. Heck, I don't even have in the front seats no more, I don't think. It's in great shape, great for export. Nice young timer here. Unlike me, nice old timer. And, man. Show you under the hood, back this bad boy up and give you an outro of it and such. Um, look at this, this seat's almost perfect. And that's another option, you know, I've seen them on eBay for anywhere between 100 to 300 bucks. You could just buy a seat for that side. But I mean, the seat's just not wore hardly at all, it's just got them little couple marks. What the car needs, actually, is nothing. It just needs you to get in it and drive it. That's it. This piece right here, just a tad bit loose. Just the, it's just the glue there. It's just a tad bit loose on it. So, just trying to be as upfront on everything. Some little something right there. It's the foam glue behind it, I believe. Okay, I love the wood stuff on these. Nice, beautiful chrome wheels. Great tires. Um, like I said from the inside, there's a lot of tread. Michelin Energy, Michelin Pilots on it. But the edges, it just seems like a little bit of dry rot there, you can see. And I'm really up front with anything my cars need. Same fading on the front bumpers there that you've seen on the back. And you really can't tell from this angle or nothing, only getting right up on top of it. Love that hood ornament. Let you look at it there while I open the hood. Absolutely beautiful under here. Um, I actually have a brand new piece of hood foam for one of these that I would sell with it. Um, it's beautiful. Um, I just didn't put it in here. Um, look at the motor. Just clean as can be. 
somebody really took care of this and it shows it really really does I stopped at a dealer lot the other day and I was looking at some of their stuff and just kind of stepped down on the ground and looked underneath one of their cars and about had a heart attack I mean I can't even believe the kind of stuff that people would buy my cars check out my website www.oneownercarguy and unless it's a project car or something my stuff's clean that's all there is to it clean look at that piece right there I don't know if you can see it it's just shiny as can be look at that front of the motor you can tell right there um, that's been off it's got new gaskets so you can tell there's been maintenance done. Still got all the covers for everything. And the car's sweet. Okay. Ooh, God, I love that. Serious. Okay. Take you outside here. One thing I didn't show in between here is it does have the um, medical kit. Um, and it's got this cover. The back package tray is in beautiful shape. Um, third light and all that. It's got this cover over everything. And the tan underneath it is just almost like new. Do you have your medical kit though? And that's getting closed in there a bit. A guy could, um, even this out a bit more. But same thing the guy had on the front, except we took it off. And that mat definitely protected it. Well, just an addition there. Breeder wants to come in. Let me see her right there. Matt. There we go. She's a little warm. Okay. Well, I can't think of nothing else I showed, couldn't, didn't show you. A bit of chrome coming off that piece right there. My name's Nathan, it's 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. Um, any questions, call. Check out my website, www.oneownercarguy.com. And like I say, I've got eight or nine of these right now. Lots of W126s and even a couple W116s. Man, I got W124s, www. And www.oneownercarguy.com import export i will export these cars to anywhere in the world you name it we shipped them to norway sweden spain australia new zealand china haven't done japan give me a china come on i don't even think they can get online over there to see my beautiful cars well that's about all i know thanks for watching have a great day or night whatever it is wherever you are i can't think of nothing else to tell you about this beautiful car so we'll talk to you